Hey guys, how's it going? LA here. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to install Virtual Machine Proxmox over iDRAC onto a PowerEdge server. Alright, so there's a couple of things that we need to do in order to get started with this tutorial. First off, you'll need to download Proxmox. Uh, you'll need to have a PowerEdge server. And you'll also need to have iDRAC enabled and set up on your PowerEdge server. Now, I'm not going to go through the details in this video of how to set up uh, iDRAC uh, might actually make that in another video but uh, in order to go through and complete this video you'll need to have that stuff set up alright so let's go ahead and get started here uh, here I'm already at the Proxmox site gone navigated to Proxmox.com clicked on the download section and uh, the latest version of Proxmox in this video is going to be version 5.3 so go ahead and download the latest version and download that to an area where you can easily and quickly find it. Uh, here I've already downloaded the Proxmox ISO uh, in my downloads folder. Alright, once you have Proxmox fully downloaded, we're going to go ahead and navigate over to the iDRAC server. For me that's going to be 192.168.0.120. Now, the default username and password is something that I haven't changed, but uh, it is going to be root and the password is Calvin. Alright, so this is the iDRAC interface. This is how you can remotely manage. Uh, your uh, Dell PowerEdge servers. So I'm going to go ahead and power on my PowerEdge server and keep in mind my server is literally right next to me so uh, throughout the rest of this video you might hear uh, some interference hopefully not too much but uh, let's go ahead and get that started. Alright now that the PowerEdge server is powered on we're going to go ahead and launch the virtual console All right, so now our PowerEdge server is powering up. Uh, here, we want to go ahead and hit F10 on your keyboard. This is going to allow us to go into the system services. All right, so now we're in the unified server configuration for our uh, PowerEdge server. This is where we can uh, do system configuration changes to our PowerEdge server. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to load and deploy our Proxmox operating system uh, using this interface. One of the first things you want to do though however is you want to go ahead and click on virtual media and launch virtual media. Using virtual media, we'll be able to add our uh, ISO files. So click on add image and navigate to the location where you have your Proxbox ISO. Once you have that loaded, click on mapped and you can click on details to, to see the uh, read write information. Alright, so for me, using a mouse is a little bit tricky just because of the latency issue here. So I'm just going to stick with using a keyboard. So we're going to navigate down to OS deployment. I hit enter. And I'm going to hit tab to navigate over to deploy OS. Alright, so this screen here is asking you to configure your RAID environment. I'm going to go ahead and click on configure RAID first and I'm going to hit next. Now I'm probably going to mistakenly say click even though I'm not using a mouse here but 
in either case, it works. So navigate down to uh, the next button here on this screen. It's letting you know your current environment. And we're gonna hit next. So in this setup, I'm gonna be using the Express Wizard. Uh, if you wanna be a little bit more technical and a little bit more advanced, you can go into the Advanced Wizard. So in my case, I'm gonna be changing the RAID 0 to RAID 1. I have uh, two drives set in my PowerEd server and I'd like to use that RAID setup. Uh, RAID 1 is disk mirroring, so both disks are being written on with the same information. And I'm going to hit next. And this is the final confirmation screen. Uh, it's letting you know uh, the settings that you've applied. I'm going to go ahead and hit finish. And we're going to hit yes. All right, so the next step that we're going to do is we're going to select our operating system. Uh, in this instance, we're going to select any other operating system. And we're going to hit next. So in this step, we're going to insert the operating system media. However, we've already done that by going to virtual media and attaching the uh, ISO. As you can see, our target drive is the virtual CD DVD, which is the ISO located uh, at the uh, download uh, destination. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and click on next. All right, so now we're going to click on finish. And this is going to reboot our PowerEd server into the uh, installation walkthrough for the Proxmox. All right, so now we're in the Proxmox installation wizard. Our PowerEd server rebooted, and it's booted directly into the Proxmox installation. So we're gonna go ahead and click on install Proxmox VE. All right, so here we have the end user license agreement. We'll click on agree. So in this next step, we're gonna select our target hard disk. We've set up the uh, RAID configuration for this target hard disk. Uh, and the options, you have the option of changing the file system as well as uh, adjusting a hard drive size, but we're gonna leave everything as default. Click on okay and next. All right, so this next section is the location and time zone selection. I'm gonna go ahead and change the country to United States. My time zone. It's gonna be Eastern and we're gonna hit next. This next section is the administrative password and email address. Uh, the email address in this instance is something that we can use just to satisfy the requirements for the installation. Uh, in a enterprise environment, this is a little bit more important because you are getting notifications for uh, backup failures and uh, events that occur within Proxmox. But since this is just a development lab for me, I am just going to use one of my email addresses. All right, so here we're in the management network configuration screen. Uh, the management interface is typically set to the first interface. Uh, now, if your interface is going to be a little bit different, you can manipulate that by clicking on the drop down menu and changing the interface. Uh, the IP address, netmask, and gateway, as well as the DNS server, are things that you're going to have to configure uh, in relation to your network scheme. So, in this case, I'm going to use 
dot zero dot one forty. I'm going to leave the network mask as the same. Uh, the two five five that two five five that two five five dot zero. My gateway is going to be zero dot one. And the DNS server, I'll actually use Google's, which is 8.8.8.8. .8 the host name or the fully qualified domain name, in this instance, I'm just going to use prox.mox. And I'm going to hit install. All right, now that the server has rebooted into the Proxmox OS, uh, we're gonna go ahead and navigate to this address that's listed here, 192.168.0.140. So you might run into this connection issue uh, if you just type in the address here with the port and not include the uh, HTTPS. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that in HTTPS. And we're here with the untrusted cert. I'm going to go ahead and click on advance, add exception, confirm the security exception. And I'm going to type in my username. And there we have it. We finished the Proxmox installation and Proxmox is uh, loaded into our um, PowerEd server here. Now, from this point, you can go on to creating uh, virtual machines, uh, creating clusters, refining firewall, uh, configuring your storage options. There's a lot of neat things that you can do here that is very uh, similar to uh, VMware's vSphere inter um, environment and so with that being said thank you guys for watching my video and tutorial i hope you all have learned a little something and if you have any questions leave it in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe